hi guys welcome back to my channel so um this is the second time we film this now we just are trying to like find the right words and the right way to talk about what we want to talk about today um obviously this morning tommy and i put out a statement um explaining that two nights ago our new puppy chai passed away and neither of us wanted to film a video at all um or talk about this but after seeing everything today and reading everyone's opinions and everything, I think it's really important that we actually do sit down today and talk about it and explain yep. how we're feeling and explain what we now know after receiving um, the, autopsy. the autopsy results, um, Chai's autopsy. We want to talk about what we now know, which we didn't this morning when we posted our statement. We didn't realise the results were going to come this afternoon and they have, so we want to talk about this. Tommy and I were talking. have been talking about getting a dog for the longest time now, ever since we met. We always wanted to get a dog, didn't we? Yeah. Always. We both have dogs. Tommy has a beautiful German Shepherd who we both are obsessed with. I have a dog at home. We've both grown up with animals. We're both huge animal lovers. Um, so for my 21st birthday, we spoke about how it'd be nice if Tommy got me a dog. Like we've always wanted one and we felt like to now was the right time to like start our own like little family, if you will. Um, I've always wanted a Pomeranian, so I said to Tommy, look, if you were to get me a dog, um, I'd love a Pomeranian, and this is the breeder that I would want you to choose. I showed Tommy the breeder, and I said, this is a breeder that all my friends have used. Multiple people in the public eye use this breeder. Um, so many people that I know, and, and dogs, Pomeranians that I've met have come from this breeder, and all the Pomeranians I've met have been incredible. They've been so, like, just amazing, loving, and energetic, or full of health, everything. So I said, if you were to get me a dog, this is the breeder that I want you to use. And I just want to clarify that because I've seen a lot of tweets this morning um, saying that Tommy's like typed in on Google, cutest no. puppy. I selected the breeder. I asked Tommy to get the dog from this breeder. It had nothing to do with him. So many people are writing vile tweets saying that it's he selected the breeder. I picked the breeder. So Listen, that's the end of that. Listen, it's not about that though. You know, you can't think always on the worst side of things. If your friend got a nice dog and you would love a dog and you're an animal lover, you would say, oh, where'd you get a dog from? And you would trust that everything would be okay. When we first got Chai, like we, I can't even explain how happy we were. Like he was just absolutely everything. We both literally nearly in tears when we got him. Like he just came in his blanket. And he was just perfect. And I just knew at that moment that we like found our, like we just had our little baby. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was literally like we'd had a baby. Um, and he was running around like the apartment chasing Tommy and he was so happy and it was just perfect. So for the first two days, he was absolutely fine. Um, running around, like, was, was okay, wasn't he? And, and yep, then- how a puppy should be. Yeah, how a puppy should be. And then from, like, two days in, we started to pick up on a few things that- His poo was running, he, he wasn't eating that much, he was vomiting. Yeah, he start, we started to pick up on a few things. He would do what any normal person would do and take him to the vet. So we took him to the vet, yeah. We, um, he was very lethargic as well, but- So we took him to the vet. Um, we were waiting outside the vet, and, and as we were waiting outside the vet, like, the- it, it, I could tell something wasn't right. When we used to hold him, like he, he wouldn't move like a muscle. He would just be so still and I like, just loved being in your arms. And he was literally just wriggling, wasn't he? It was almost like, we, we've read about it since and they say that dogs kind of know when they're about to die. So the vet took him, we waited outside because of like obviously coronavirus and stuff. And she rang us and said like, um, we're gonna keep him in overnight, put him on some fluids because like, he just seems a bit sorry for himself. Like he might have a bit of an infection, we're not sure. We'll just do some health checks on him overnight and make sure he's okay. And we were like, that's absolutely fine. Like, take him, make sure he's okay so we can get him back. And like, we just thought we were gonna pick him up the next day and it'd be fine. And then 30 minutes later, like literally 30 minutes later, she the vet rang up and said that Chai had a seizure and that he had died. Um, and it's just, that was it really like, we were both just like utterly shocked like Tommy literally threw up everywhere I I just kept saying to her like it is a prank like we get prank called all the time and I was like some sick person has found out that like Chai's wanted to the vet I was like it's a prank it's a prank and she was like no like your dog's died and I was like we just we didn't know what to do did we and she just in shock um so then what happened then but today we got back Chai's autopsy results, um, which we paid to have done like really quick because I just couldn't live with the not, not knowing. knowing yeah, and not like knowing. obviously we we did feel guilty, almost like it was kind of like could he eat and could have eaten something. Um, one thing I just want to clarify, which has literally upset me more than anything, 
which I've literally just been like, more, like devastated over for the last two hours is that people think we took Chai out before he'd had his injections. I just want to clarify that. We would never, ever, ever, ever do that. Chai had every single vaccination, every single injection. We have the paperwork to show that, that he had all of his vaccinations, all of his injections um, to be able to take him outside. He was four and a half months old. Um, the breeder actually gives him his injections before, he, before we get him into our care. So we were told that it was fine to take him outside, which it was. He was... Yeah, it was fine. He was four months, four and a half months old. Yeah, and he yeah. had all those injections. So anyone that's just making comments about us killing our own dog, I mean, honestly. The autopsy results showed, but the vet had to kind of, like, explain it to us because the autopsy was very, um, like, cryptic. Medical. It was all medical, medical terms. terms. Like, it was very hard to understand. So she basically just spelled it out to us and she said that effectively Chai's skull it wasn't formed properly. It wasn't fully it developed. It wasn't fully developed. So part of his brain was exposed, um, which is obviously like in a tiny, tiny dog, like any knock or anything, like even playing with him, like probably wasn't, probably wasn't very helpful. And the main thing was that was discovered was Chai didn't have a single white blood cell left in his body. So he can't So he couldn't afford, afford, afford any, if he came into, even though he had all his injections, even if he came into contact with a bit of, I don't know, like his dog food or the pavement or anything. Like, if he was to catch anything, he couldn't fight off any form of infection, any form of bacteria, nothing, which all dogs should be able to do um, with their white blood cells, which he had none of. He was also born with, like, slightly enlarged, like, some of his organs were slightly enlarged. What the vet said was that if, the ch if Chai was in Russia, if Chai was in my mum's care, if Chai was born from a different breeder wherever chai was always going to pass away um with the condition that he was born with with the where his head wasn't fully formed with everything that was wrong with him he was not going to be able to, to survive past a very very young age um so whilst we completely understand everyone's opinions about him being shipped over from russia like we completely do understand well no we do agree with what people are saying what you need to understand is is that that is not what made this little baby dog passed away like that is not what made him die um he was going to die regardless regardless he was going of, to die regardless he, we were literally told by so many people take a replacement dog no one needs to know no, no one needs to know we would never ever ever do that because i think it's so important that we just sit down now and just be honest and say if we had our time again we wouldn't have done what we did. We probably would have got a dog from the UK or we would have rescued a dog. The, I, I, I love the whole adopt, don't shop, but, but at the I'm same not going to feel bad for no, wanting a puppy. No one can be mad I mean? at us for wanting a puppy and to raise it with the best love and care in the world. Mm. No one can... No that one was can, all no our one, intentions were. No one can be angry at us for doing that at the end of the day. We just wanted to give it pure love and pure attention, pure affection, give it the best life ever. And if we're bad people for wanting to do that, then... Our only intention with Chai was to literally, for 10 to 15 years, however long we thought we were going to have with him, to just obsess over him. Like, we were, we, we literally wanted to start a family with him. Everyone that's saying about this Instagram accessory, like, it, that's why I'm sat here filming this, because I, as much as he's brilliant and can ignore every single comment, the fact that he's trending for what's happened today, and he can literally just not even bat an eyelid, and I'm sat, like, hysterically crying, and I just cannot ignore the comments, um... So yeah, people that are saying we bought him for Instagram likes, Instagram accessory, like, please stop saying that. Our lives are on social media. My full-time job is to post my life, to show you guys what I'm doing. That's why Chai was on our Instagram. If I didn't have Instagram, he wouldn't be on Instagram. It's just like, it's, we're not asking for any form of sympathy. We don't deserve any sympathy. What's happened is awful. But all I'm asking is for you to understand that the dog traveling from Russia is not the reason why he died. Yes. If we had our chance again, we wouldn't import a dog from Russia. And I wish, being an animal lover, like, I'm questioning myself now as an animal lover, like, do I love animals if I did that? But everyone makes mistakes. And just because we're in the public eye, it doesn't mean that we don't, we don't make mistakes. But maybe, you know, it's positive that it happened to us and that we can share this story on our platforms. I'm thankful that it happened to us and not somebody else because I don't wish this upon my worst enemy. Yeah. And that's the truth. Um, but hopefully you guys can take... You know, you can take stuff out of this and you can use it in your own lives if you're thinking about doing anything like that, you know, just stop and put a little bit more time into it, which we should have done. But hopefully our mistakes... The thing is, though, is we did, like, in the wrong ways. Like, I was so prepared for the dog. Like, I bought him a thousand different dog beds. I just, like, I was ready to just give him so much love. 
and care and affection. My biggest happiness is that we never, ever, ever once put him in a crate, in a cage, never once shouted at that dog and every single night he slept in our bed and um, that is my, that's what I'm so happy the that best we did thing, that. The best thing of this though is that the dog was going to die around that time anyway. So I'm thankful that he came over and he had the best few days of his life because yeah. I'd rather him come over here and have, and, and have the best few days of, of his life than stay in Russia and then die. So, you know, I'm thankful that we give him the best four or four days he could have had and that's that's it at the end of the day. Yeah. And there's nothing, there's nothing more left to say. Yeah, he couldn't have had a better end to his life than with no. us. Like, he was so loved. Like, it's not normal to love a dog as much as we love that dog. Like, I literally... We were so obsessed with him, but I and think it's it. so important that we just share this story and just say we are now suffering the consequence of our actions and that if anybody is thinking about importing a dog, like... Just think twice. Think twice. I just want you guys to understand that if for one minute we'd known that Chai was unwell, if he had the one tiniest bit of a centimeter over a, a high temperature like we would never ever 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 have wanted him to come over here or like put him at any risk like we just wanted the best for that dog and and we wasn't informed that anything was wrong with yeah we, we were just informed that the dog was of full health and that's what we went off we went off reports saying he was of full health he had all his vaccinations like that's what we went off and that's what you guys need to understand like we're not animal killers this is our story and I want people to learn from it and that's why we're doing this video and I didn't want to do it this soon but I had to I had to just say something um but yeah um thank you for watching this video um we appreciate that everyone's got opinions and wants to voice them but we're going for a really hard time right now like we've never like this is just awful um but we don't want any like obviously we don't expect sympathy we don't deserve sympathy we don't want sympathy but we just want to share this story um so yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video whenever that may be. Probably not for a while yet, but um, yeah.